Bacterial recombination is characterized by DNA transfer from one donor organism to a recipient organism, which allows the bacteria to express new proteins. This may give the bacteria additional functionality, such as antibiotic resistance, which in turn can be of selective advantage. The three main ways of bacterial recombination include transformation, conjugation and transduction. Transduction is the process by which DNA is transferred from one bacterium to another through a virus. Transduction is a common tool used by molecular biologists to stably introduce a foreign gene into a host's cell genome. If the whole thing reminds you of viral transfection, it's because viral transfection and transduction both refer to the same concept. To better understand transduction, we much, must first understand viral replication. Viruses are unable to replicate on their own. As such, they can be said to be obligate parasites, meaning that they cannot complete their life cycles without exploiting suitable hosts. Many viruses can switch between a lysogenic and lytic pathway. In lysogeny, the virus combines its genome with the bacterial chromosome, then it can just chill behind enemy lines, so to speak, while the bacteria multiplies, creating more viral factories for it. After an induction event, the virus switches to the lithic pathway, creating so many viruses that the cell lyses or bursts open, releasing all these viruses into the surrounding environment. It's like if you secretly change the blueprint of a factory, which was responsible for automatically creating weapons. Then, when you would flip a switch, all of these factories that were built with the blueprints would automatically start creating weapons for you instead of the enemy. Now, transduction can occur in two ways, called generalized and specialized transduction. In generalized transduction, the bacteriophages can pick up any portion of the host's genome and transfer it. In contrast, with specialized transduction, the bacteriophages pick up only specific portions of the host's DNA. This specialized transduction is what scientists have taken advantage of in the transduction process to stably introduce genes of interest into various host cells using viruses. Now, if you want a quick summary of all of the different bacterial recombination methods, I recommend you check out this video. Until next time.